What is up, everybody? You already know we're headed to workout again. And last night I kind of tweaked my intro video. I don't know if I like it more than what it used to be. So y'all check it out right now. Got a couple things to do today. I gotta go to my a couple of my little siblings last day of the year school party. And I also have to record my uh, second podcast. But I'm probably not gonna record in the school party because I'm not gonna walk around pointing a camera at seven and eight year olds. That's pedophilish. So uh, we'll see what I get for the rest of the day. I've been striking out today, people. I did go to my little sibling's um, school party thing. Did do that. Um, my buddy is gonna be able to film the podcast till later tonight. And then I tried to run by my little brother's football practice and they were finished when I showed up. So I didn't get to do any of that. But I did wanna let y'all know something because this is something that I thought when I was a kid. So, nobody's probably watching this right now, but I believe in the years to come, people will be watching this video. And you've got, you've got ambitions, you've got, you either want to be a professional athlete or you just want to be successful in whatever field you do. Well, I wanted to be a college football player when I was a kid, and I looked up at college football players. I thought that they were like something special. I thought they had something that other people didn't have. And so that was my goal. So what I figured would happen, at least whenever I was little, was once I became a college football player, I was gonna like transform and become something else and like just shift everything about myself which is gonna be completely different and I was gonna be a, like a superhero, I guess, so to speak. And I did make it to college football. I made it to the University of Oklahoma straight out of high school, which that's one of the top programs in the country, year in and year out. I mean, there's no debating that whether you're an OU fan or not an OU fan, whatever. So like, I made it to the top. And I was the same person. Like nothing, and you start to realize this once you get older, like nothing changed about, about me. I mean, I was a little more developed, but I'm still the same body, same soul, same spirit, same mind, still the same person. So if you're going after something in life, don't wait because what you have right now is what you're going to have later. So you might as well start developing your mindset now. You might as well start developing your body now. You might as well start developing your skills, um, whatever craft you want to be in. I mean, you might as well start it now and you can get there because the people that end up being successful are just the ones that took advantage of what they were given. And what you're given is what you have right now. So you either develop that or you sit around and wait for something magical to happen. It's never gonna happen for you. It's, the ball is literally in your court. So what I'm telling you right now is if you wanna get something, just go out and get it. I did it and multiple people have, and it's just realizing this is what I have right here and this is you know all I need from a physical standpoint or like a mental standpoint and then you just go and get it but don't sit around and wait for the magic moment to happen because it's not gonna happen it starts right now so go after it my little brother wants to play me one-on-one -on -one. this camera sitting on a trash can you smell that no I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging, oh I'm ballin', I'm ballin', I have a song on you <laughs> Come on! Score update, 2-0 Me! Watch out, oh watch out, oh watch out, yeah I smash out, I smash out, I smash out
If he's no fun, which he is. Stop it, G. You're no fun! So, Easton, my co host to my podcast, said we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to record our second podcast, so look out for that. But I found something even better. Check this out. Dog loves fidget spinners. <laughs> Let's spin it again, Keeks. <laughs> Oof. He's trying to sit on your lap, he's scared. Gamba, what do you think about that? Think about that. <laughs> well, he shut that down, and that's what I'm leaving you guys with tonight. Hope you can sleep easy and have dogs on your mind. Until next time.